Hello, my Libra masculines. This is going to be a Libra masculine reading for the beginning of May, just for my kings of swords. It's good for any placement of Libra in your natal chart. As always, keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's not a per personal reading meant for just one person, so it's not going to resonate with everyone that watches. Things could be opposite and roles could be reversed as well, you guys. If you want to book a private reading with me or check out Human Design, the link to my website to see all of that is down in the description below this video. If you're new, this is so much Chandra Libra. This channel is dedicated just to Libra and Sagittarius. I do read for all 12 zodiac signs privately, but this channel takes up most of my time right now. So if you have Libra or Sag in your chart, you came to the right place. All right, my guys, my kings of swords, let's begin. This is a pretty intense reading. I felt the need to clarify quite a bit about the person in your energy with oracle cards. I might do an extended reading, which I don't do for you guys typically but I might end up doing it today. We'll see how it goes. You guys, when I was dropping out the reading, I got these really wild downloads. Um, you guys don't know me. You don't know this about me, but I'm like a huge John Wick fan. I'm obsessed with the John Wick story and the movies. I want to be John Wick, actually. <laughs> and um, I thought it was kind of odd that as I was getting into your energy, spirits started showing me scenes and flashes from that story and from the movie John Wick and I kept hearing you know Keanu Reeves say as John like I am I will serve I've been of service like I will be of service I have served I'll serve the high table I pledge my fealty so I feel like and then when I saw the reading I looked at it overall it made sense some of you may feel as though you're in a scenario, not like John Wick was, but like, who do you serve? What do you serve and why? The devil did come out and Capricorn does remind us of restrictions and limitations. It does ask us to examine things that we've chained and bound ourselves to that we can't ignore. So kind of like John in the movie and the story, some of you feel as though like, like, what did John Wick have to do? Like, he had to continue to be a hired assassin, even though he didn't want to be anymore. He was only doing it for a reason. The whole story is about him trying to get away from doing something that he doesn't want to do anymore. So I feel like some of you definitely feel that way. Like, it's been conditioned into you to serve and be of service to something or someone. You've already sacrificed a lot. You're really tired yeah, it's like, who do you serve? Why do you serve what you serve? Who are you loyal to? You remember the high table in the John Wick movie, they insisted upon complete loyalty. It was either that or off with your head. So I was like, wow, that's intense. Like, yeah, I will serve. I will be of service. I pledge my fealty. It's like someone does want you to pledge allegiance to them in some way. And I think you just don't expect it. I started to build the reading off of this first oracle deck, the Island Time Wellness, ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union and healing, healing from heartache, freedom from toxic relationships or addictions and the butterfly relationship evolving into the next phase, healing and inner child and growth. So these first three cards that came out, these are all about going in a really good direction in your life. You're like evolving, you're expanding, you're healing wounds from childhood. Men have those too. I don't know why people don't think you guys do, but I know you do. There's a lot of growth, a lot of healing. You're freeing yourself from a lot of toxic stuff. And I think that you are ascending. But then the last card that came out was the snake, competition, enemy, clever, look over your shoulder, the other woman, and then sunglasses, watching, looking. This is so weird. Like it came out in my Libra relationship reading I just did the other day, which I, is meant for masculines and feminines. And then in the overall May reading, something about like envy and friendship. I think it's just like a theme that all Libras in my collective anyway are dealing with right now, where like there are other people that are come, gonna come into your life from your past, from your present moment, that they're selfish, they want something from you, they're jealous of you, they're gonna throw a monkey wrench in the works for you. It's like all this healing is coming in, but it's like a Libra thing. 
there's someone watching. It says the other woman. It could be a woman in your life. It could be any woman in your life, an ex-partner, someone you co-parent with, a mother figure even. It could be anyone. It could be a man, I guess, too. But like there's someone watching you evolve and they are clever. What else is down here? They're watching they want to talk to you. They're going to say things over and over to you that are kind of outdated. They do want to offer you stability. They want you to look in the mirror. Yeah. Okay. I feel like someone's trying to pull you back in and sway your decisions in some way because the astrology that came out for you for the beginning of the month is the asteroid of Juno, which is partnership, and Moom Koali, which is the root which is like your south node almost. No, it's like the roots of your being, a partnership from the roots of your being and Chiron needing to heal to form an alliance and home. This could be a family member. This could also be an ex. Healing the root of a relationship, healing the root wounds, the root causes. Chiron is a wound that we play out over and over and over again for some of you that this resonates with. It definitely stems from maybe familial relationships, patterns you learned, mistakes you keep making over and over again. I also hear that some of you have some an interesting relationship with the second house for some reason, because I guess because the five of pentacles is here. Like your earning potential, assets, resources, what you want, what you believe you need to have. Some of you were conditioned to either have a survival mindset or a thrive mindset, but this was not planted in your head. Like you didn't develop this on your own. You were taught that you had to be a certain way. You had to earn a certain living. You had to be a certain kind of person. Someone does want to form an alliance with you. They say they want to heal you. Don't get me wrong, it's not that I don't like the roots of the tree, but I feel like someone is gonna, like asking you who you pledge your loyalty to and what you pledge your loyalty to, someone's gonna hit you where it hurts. Someone's gonna really pull on just the right strings to get you to maybe do what they want. They're gonna, they're gonna make you feel guilty too. It might be an ex that you have to parent with or something. Only two cards came out for the Three of Swords or a mother figure even. It's someone in your life that's trying to stay, keep you grounded to them maybe. Of course, it could be our current romantic partner, but they might be kind of set in their ways. I do get the sense that there are two women here because I have an Empress and a Queen of Pentacles and they may or may not be the same woman. The overall energy of the person coming towards you is the Three of Swords. The way someone's feeling is the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, in particular Capricorn, because the devil is here. The way you see yourself is the Two of Pentacles. What you need to know where your advice is the Magician, and the final outcome is the Five of Pentacles. Okay, some and the Six of Pentacles is at the bottom of my third deck with the Knight of Swords. Wow, because you miss someone. Okay, you may feel like you need to take care of someone or someone really misses you and is chasing after you. I'm not going to go so far as to say they only want you for your money, Libra, but there's this thing about who to take care of. Interesting. So with the Three of Swords, I could only get two cards to come out and they made me shuffle a bunch of times. So we just have two clarification cards. Someone is brokenhearted. This is the overall energy of the reading and clarifying this is the Wheel of Fortune to Death. It could have been a Scorpio. Someone could be heartbroken over a Scorpio. Someone may have literally died. I'm also hearing that someone lost a child or a baby because the Empress here is holding a child. I don't know if you can see that or not. Sorry, you guys. Someone is experienced, like there's just cycles that have led to endings, death and powerful rebirth. And you guys seem to be on the upswing of a rebirth phase, but there is still heartbreak and pessimism. Someone, some of you may be feeling like things never work out for me. Things always end for me. But with those endings always come new beginnings, but you might be in the middle of a heartbreak phase that's all part of a greater transformation for you or for this person. And the way you or someone is feeling is the Queen of Pentacles, the woman holding the coin. Clarifying this is the Four of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. This sure likes, this sure looks like, come home, I miss you. 
This is a person that you may have once lived with, you may have shared a child with. It could be a mother figure, could be a sister, could be anyone. It could be an ex-roommate even, a place you lived. This person represents stability for you or they want to. They have huge regrets. They're going to message you about this. They may send you something like to tell you, oh, like stuff's going down with our home. We need to move. I see that they may miss you. I don't have the Six of Cups here, but I think I do over here. I'll look in a minute. They're going to sing you some kind of sob story, that's for sure. And I don't mean to delegitimize what this person's going through. They just may be sad about something. They're going to send you quite a bit of messages. Some of you are trying to be, get closer to this person potentially. Potentially could be trying to get closer to them or they're trying to get closer to you, but you're being seen as the two of pentacles. You're walking a tight rope. Decisions, decisions, and you don't know what to do. Well, if I do this, this will happen. If I do this, this will happen. I feel as though some of you are really feeling like it's like a really delicate balance for you right now. Some of you are trying to do two things at once. One of your guides just said, you're trying to, but you can't. You have to choose. Okay. Well, I don't know about all that yet because I don't have judgment here or justice. I only have the two of pentacles. So right now, this person sees you having a choice. I'm also hearing that someone is sort of dismissive. You have more than one person. You have more than one woman in your life, actually, that's dismissive of your own personal destiny. Like they're counting on you in some way. Maybe they're not all women. Maybe they're men, too. But um, like people aren't giving you the opportunity to decide what you want. They want something from you. Everybody wants something from Libra. It's usually be, give me the strategy, give me the advice. Libra and Lib ma masculines in particular are often the fair authority. You guys are so good at making balanced, intelligent, fair choices. But I think someone's really pulling on you here because you don't know what to do. And clarifying this is the two of swords, the eight of swords and the devil. So this person could be poor cap the devil. <laughs> this person could just be a Capricorn, but you definitely feel like someone needs to make a choice here. They need to make a choice or you need to make a choice and you're at an impasse and you're weighing your odds. I think this is you because you're like, there's something here that's difficult for you to see. There's like, I don't know that it's a toxic bond between the two of you, but you may be chained and bound together in some way. And it is like, look how she's resisting the fire. Like this queen of pentacles may be the person watching you saying, no, you need to heal this relationship with me. I've been through something difficult. You need to be here for me. They may have a lifestyle that makes them feel almost Taurian. It is Taurus season right now. I don't want to pick on this Queen of Pentacles because I don't know her or anything. But one of the things that the shadow traits of Taurus is, um, and Capricorn as well, is like they can be very stubborn, very controlling, and they do have a bit of a bougie side and they want to have it all. This woman may be very used to like creature comforts. She may also be really set in her ways and used to getting everything she wants. Some of you are in business with this person and they're liquidating a business or selling a home with death here. Like it's inevitable. They're coming to you to make a choice. And I feel like you guys are like, God, I like, don't ask me to do this for you. I pulled out another Oracle deck. I wanted to know a little bit more about the Queen of Pentacles and I have withholding, missing you, loyalty, past life connection. This is a person you've either known your whole life or you knew from the past. They definitely have earth sign traits right now. They could have Capricorn traits. They Poor Capricorn, they're like a cat. If you touch them, they're like, why are you touching me? Don't pet me. You open up a book, the cat will stick their butt in your face. Pay attention to me. Like they're weird that way. This person maybe has some Virgo or Capricorn traits and that they hold back. They don't open up easily. But the truth is they miss you or you miss them. You've been, someone's been holding back from the other and yet there's still a longing and a missing. Someone wants you to be loyal to them. 
and loyal to your past. What if the past is holding you back, an antiquated past, a, a relationship or a system or a past that maybe you don't want to change completely, but you want it to grow? This person wants to hold you to something. They miss you, but they don't always know how to tell you. You have to navigate this carefully. You are on the right path to regaining some control, but someone does want to spend time with you and they want to make plans. They have regrets. There's going to be world travel. Okay. I do feel like someone's trying to pull you back into their life in some way. And I think that this all really shocks you because here's what you need to know or your advice, the magician. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aries, Gemini, or Virgo. Um, they don't have to be that sign, or there could be one of those signs involved. But we have a magician here, someone who's very calculated and knows what they're doing. Clarifying this is the Five of Swords, the Tower, and the Ace of Swords. Wow. Okay, Libra, you guys, someone really does want their way. And I think that they're going to say something and do something that's really shocking with the tower to the ace of swords. I'm also hearing that someone suddenly sees, some of you have been through something recently and now someone sees their chance. I'm hearing they want they want something here from you. They're, they're willing to fight for it too. This person is a bit possessive of you. I'm hearing they're possessive, they're an opportunist, they do love you, but they uh, it's a weird relationship. The two of you are definitely enmeshed in some way. And the final outcome is the Five of Pentacles. So someone may need help financially. And the reason I say that is because the Six of Pentacles is at the bottom of my deck. So someone may need help. You may feel like you need help. This person, this may be a person you don't want to go and stay with. They may be offering you a place to live or something and you yourself need help. Clarifying this is the Seven of Swords Judgment and the Seven of Pentacles. Someone's watching and waiting to see what choice you will make next. I stand corrected. I didn't realize it. I just dropped the cards out, let the messages come through. Here, listen, and then I turn the camera on. Judgment is here. This is a big deal. We have Judgment and the Wheel of Fortune on the table. The next important choice you make, Libra, my kings, might quite literally impact your destiny for the next 20 years of your life. This is a big choice that you have to make coming up. Someone is coming up short, either you or this person, and someone feels left out in the cold. I feel like you don't know what to say here, but you have to listen to your best judgment and the seven of pentacles. You don't know what to do. And you think about this person from the past. Hmm, but we have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. This could, there's a page of swords down here. A child could be involved. Someone's watching, waiting. That wasn't by accident. You could be dealing with a Libra or Taurus. Wow, the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups. Someone's sad. You're moving on. You're telling someone to back off, but you feel stuck. You don't know what to do. Some of you, this person wants to heal a relationship with you. They have a child with you. They want to be with you. They miss you. In turn, you could be with someone else because we have the Queen of Pentacles again at the bottom of this deck. These two might be two different ladies. They could be the same person. The Hermit, they are withdrawn. They're watching you. They don't know what's going on with you. You're being strong, worried about money maybe coming to see them. They're worried you're going to move on from them in some way. I, why do I feel like something happened in your life that made this person feel like you were going to come back? Like your money problems or their money problems were going to get you to come back. Here's what this person wants to say to you overall. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I couldn't let you get close to me. Again, so weird, right? Like I miss you, but they withhold from you. They do this. This person struggles to communicate. You, they, you have no idea how hard it was for them to let you go, but they struggle to let you get close to them while you were together. The truth is they feel really happy with you and they don't know why this happened. They don't know how it happened. They don't know why it happened. They're over. I'm like, I want to know what's going on a little bit more. I don't 100% trust this person because I have the five of cups, the devil and the five of swords with the magician. That's a person that when they're pushed, and they're desperate, 
they'll fuck with you or be manipulative. They have their own, we all have our own way of being manipulative. So I just wanted to use my deck to see a little bit more about them. My pride and ego was bruised. They're very traditional and misery loves company. Mind games is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, look, oh, they're gonna kick and scream too and fight, oh shit. All right, this person's stubborn, they're old school, they're traditional, they want their way, they want what they want. This person may think that you need to stay with them, but they might not realize that they're holding you back. They Maybe they're miserable or they think that you're miserable and you need company. They're going to play mind games with you. This person, regardless of what kind of person they are, they're playing kind of dirty right now. Because I think they're afraid they're going to lose you because I got a lot of fives over here. That's is their overall energy. The five of cups, they're disappointed. The four of cups, they're huffy and mopey. The five of swords, they're mad. They want what they want here. They're sad and mad and they're stressed the fuck out. Sorry, if you're new to my channel, I'm really sweary. It's not good. <laughs> not refined, but yeah, they're stressed the fuck out. I was like, what is their deal? And I have the High Priestess, the Moon, and the Knight of Pentacles. Is someone disabled? Um, I'm hearing that for a few of you, this person may, like they can't, maybe they can't drive at night or they, they're homebound in some way. They want, they won't, they will not step outside of their comfort zone, but they want you to step outside of theirs. They do want loyalty out of you. The Knight of Pentacles will be loyal. They're in, they're listening to their intuition about you. They could have Pisces in their charts. They could be a little idealistic in an unfair way. And they, they don't know what to think. They don't know what to feel. They are stubborn. They've gone as far as they'll go. I'm hearing that this person, I'm hearing the freaking John Wick stuff again. I have served. I will be of service. Pledge your fealty to me. They want this from you. They, I think this person doesn't. They're sad to lose you and they're mad and they don't want to lose you. They want things to... I do think they want things to be better, but and they don't really quite know how this happened with you either. What you want to say to them is, I miss seeing you. I wish we could go back. I bury myself in work to forget you, but I'm not available. I miss being with you is at the bottom of the deck. You were the best thing in my life. One of you really, there was good times between the two of you. I'm hearing that this is a different kind of relationship for each of you. You don't want to think about them and you're not available to them. And, but a part of you does wish you could go back and do things differently maybe and you do miss seeing them. Yeah. And your cards are the Eight of Swords, the King of Cups, the Devil. There's the Devil. Some of you have Capricorn in your chart and the Five of Wands. Hmm. I wanted to know what the devil represented for you. And I got the star, the 10 of cups and the two of pentacles. Okay, you definitely have a soft spot for this person. They could be a family member. You could co-parent with them, have kids with them. Like it could be one of your kids. It could be your own mother or father. Um, but it's like you want to heal family. You want happily ever after. You just don't know how to make that happen. There's a lot of tension here and competing opinions that you're worried about. You may be worried about a king of cups with a drinking problem. Uh, is that your brother <laughs> or his, her ex or something? Um, but some of you do. Like this person's your weak spot. You may be worried that this person might be bad for you in some way or you're just stuck loving them. You may be in denial about it too. You may be in some kind of a denial about the relationship potentially, Libra. I keep hearing Sagittarius and I don't know why. I apologize. Maybe some of you have Sag in your chart. And it's like there's tension here, tension in a family, tension over where to live, co-parenting. And the Six of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck with money. Uh, for some of you, I really feel like this is a person that you may co-parent with or own a business with, or it's a family member or something where it's like, and I feel like you guys want to make everyone happy here, but you don't know how, and you are not solution focused at this time. Watch out if you have Capricorn in your chart for being stubborn. I also hear that you find someone very unattractive. I don't know who that is. It's weird, but... I am going to do an extended reading because I feel as though 
there's something that needs to heal that keeps playing out in this relationship. Like just when things are getting good for you, like someone is pulling you back in out of a jealousy or out of a cleverness. They may try to keep you stuck in some way, Libra. And they may be offering quite a bit to you. They may want to mother you or nurture you or vice versa. And they're going to do something that you don't expect. I don't think you expected this. But I feel like you need to have some kind of an alliance with this person. You may share a home together or own a home together with Hearth. If you feel like you need the extended, I want to see further how this person sees you. Because when the devil came out twice and this shit came out, I was like, oh, and that clever, jealous woman card. I was like, I don't trust this woman. I don't trust this Queen of Pentacles yet. I want to know who the hell the Empress is too. So I'm going to do some more clarification. Um, if you feel like you need that, the link to that will be at this top of the description below. But you have to make decisions and you have to decide what and whom you're loyal to and why. And there could be money and stuff involved um, at the beginning of May, my Libra Kings. Okay, I'm always listening to the universe for you guys. Take care. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.